Well, g'day guys. Welcome to Taxi Life. Welcome to checking out the new update to see if it fixes some of the issues. Yeah, turn that down. The biggest one is a bit of a stunning. They claim that they've fixed some of the stunning. Some of the uh, driving AI. They, I've had a very brief look and it does seem to be okay. Though the pedestrian is still an issue because I was driving through a Crossing. The guy just turned around and went the other way and I hit him. I killed someone. I've killed my first person in this game. Okay, let's change the outside view. Oh, there's someone to the right here, I think. Let's have a look. Where are we? What is this? So let's go here. Cancel task. What the? I was just trying to um, cancel waypoints. Whoops. Oh, so we canceled that person. Go pick this person up. So I'm just sending them reply as a message to someone. Okay. Oh, green light. Good. I was just about to drive off and didn't realise we had a green light there. Okay, let's go. See here if the stuttering's gone better or not. Still got a bit of stuff that needs um, fixing. I actually picked up a new game on PC. It's also available on PS5, but I saw it was only 23 bucks on sale on Steam, so I picked up Fern, Fernberg, something like that, um, bus simulator. It's actually not too bad. Not too bad. It's Apparently it's also on PS5, but I'm playing the PC version because it's like half the price. But the PS5, you actually get all the DLC, I'm told, so I want to check that out some point. Could be some fun for some streaming Fernberg bus simulator. I always think we need to turn, turn lights on. Yes, it is night time. Let <laughs> me turn in here. Very tight little road. There we go. Make it around. Let's pick this lady up. We're about to take her. Hey, how are you? Still got the creeping problem though. You get sometimes they're getting in and the car just creeps. In this scene here, you can see it moving. And I've actually hit someone, or nearly hit someone, because it starts creeping when you. And we'll go there. You know what? I don't think I've driven over this. Oh, the over. I'm trying to go avoid all these things over this side. I have to go over there sometimes. And the, the other problem with this game is there's no engine sound. I'm in a petrol car. You can just slightly... It, it, it almost sounds like I'm in an electric car. There is an electric car in the game. This is a petrol-powered car. Green light, quick, let's go.
I haven't noticed any stutters. No, I've said that now. Now I'm going to see a stutter. Okay. But I'm actually liking this game. It's not a huge... Let's see. We'll stop. There's a person going to get stuck with their car's handbrake. Look at that. Now she's doing me. Well, if she can't make her mind up, now she's going to go back. I'm a bit worried about going. Okay. Lights are still green. Oh, the lights have been green just before we got here too. Good timing. What the fuck's this car doing? So, uh, um, um, uh, uh, my initial play, I did notice, I think, one or two starters, but it's definitely not as regular as it used to be. They fixed a bit of the um, AI less crashing with them, but they definitely have not fixed the pedestrians. They need to do something about the pedestrians. Oh, I think I don't want to. It looks like I need to go to the right. Okay, let's get into that right hand lane. Oh, wrong. I didn't press my indicator. Sorry. Where is this? Uh, stuff. I wonder when they'll finish building Sagrada Familia. I don't know. What's your guess? Uh, I heard that the uh, completion date was set to the uh, um, 100th anniversary of Antoni Gaudi's death, but it might take even longer. Do you know more about Sagrada Familia? Uh, yeah. Um, it was originally designed by Antoni Gaudi, but after his death, other architects uh, continued... I learned doing this in limos. You listen to what the other customers say. I hope they can finish it soon. It's a beautiful piece of architecture. I know. I love everything about it. Oh, I can't wait. You get to your customers to talk glory. about what they like to talk about, oh. and you always have a good job. Bit like that in here, I guess. It's, as I said, limousine drivers very similar to taxi driving. It's just a bit more professional. Take care. There we go. I think we've got a bit extra too. I'm not sure. Wait a second. Did she give a tip? Easy, length, short, starting point, blah, 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 blah. Plus money. Fee, 281. That's a lot of money. Tip. Oh, we got a, we got a tip. There we go. Because we were engaged. I just have to answer this question.
Me and my girlfriend are planning our first kind of getaway. Yeah, getaway. We're going to go to Noosa for the week for a couple of days. Just me and her. I don't know why we have to drive onto the footpaths when doing this. See, look, my handbrake's off. I put my handbrake on. It stopped. Is the car going to move? It is now. It could be a hill, but it shouldn't. It should hold the car when you're picking up customers. Sometimes you're in that view and it still moves. So just, just kind of noting some things that need to be fixed. So we're taking this person over to the green. Yeah. Car can be no, let's have to go. Game break off. What speed bump? Let's be careful of those. Is there a car coming up behind us? Yep. See how you're hearing the sirens and that? You never see them. You hear them, but you never, I've never seen a fire engine or police or whatever drive past. It would be nice that. Or oh, I can go left in this lane, so let's go left in this lane. We can't go straight, we can't go right anyway, so we have to go left. G'day Phil, how are you going mate? I'm better doing a multitasking, I'm chatting to my girlfriend. We're planning our trip away together. She's coming over the stay the night tomorrow night. Yeah, it's going to be some interesting things. I'm not sharing what's... I think a certain thing you might... That might be up, but... Yeah, mate, she is the most amazing. She, been talk, she was talking to me last night that she wants to buy a house. And I said, oh, and I got a bit upset, kind of thinking, oh, I really wish I could help you. You know, thinking, but if, if she's not going to want to be with me, if I can't help her getting a house, and she said, no, I, don't, I, I know, I understand that you haven't got much money. It's good. I don't care if you're broke. So, she doesn't care about my house being messy. She comes and helps clean it up. She's just incredible. 
She doesn't care if I'm broke, whatever. She just likes me for who I am, being just a nice guy. Um, it's kind of hard for me to believe that this is true. How could someone just like me for who I am? I am a nice guy. Unless it's a asshole in bloody um, GT7 lately. <laughs> Let's not go there. Got the manufacturer's cup tomorrow at um, Nürburgring. I'm looking forward to that. Going to have to do that during the afternoon, which is going to be hard because F1 qualifying is on as well. It's here in Australia, so it's in the afternoon. She has to go home in the morning on Sunday, so I'm not going to miss the race, which is good. How good is that? We did it. And I haven't seen any stuttering yet. But you know, another game I got on PC just before, um, Phil, which is on PS5, but it was, it's only like $23 on PC, so I grabbed it, was Fernberg, I think it's Fernberg Bus Simulator. It's actually not bad. It's actually not bad. So I'm multitasking, I'm talking to the girlfriend. It's weird saying that. It's so weird saying that. Um playing this and I'm chatting to Bill. Play your eyes to banting that is. Come on. What's this fucking cop doing? I want to get over that left hand lane. Fucking grandpa. Bash my lights at him. No, no, don't do that. Oh, that's got, has got cruise control. Sweet. You're where we have to take this girl. Which this should be going around the same areas all the time. Oh. I'm still liking this. I am I am really enjoying this game. Not brilliant. It's still got room for improvement. Mind you, that truck and logistics one, I regret buying that because that's just... It's... Honestly, that's probably my biggest waste of money. Wish they were like Steam and you could refund the games, but Sony don't like doing that. Because honestly, the game's a bit of trash. That's why I like buying some games on PC. You want to say something? I've actually, you know, there's a there's a NAS, there's a truck game coming out on PlayStation, which still want to be announced, and it's called um, No Alaskan Truck Simulator. And I've been waiting. I've, I've it's been on sale, and I've been thinking, oh, grab it. And then I'll know I'll wait until it comes. I want to further play it on PlayStation. But they're now saying it's been delayed until the end of the year, so... But... On Steam, I've actually reported, and they're going to get... And Steam's got back to me saying, this. Yes, actually, you are right. Because I've caught them out... Pulse... It's almost fraud. It's borderline fraud. What they've done. So, uh, Alaskan Truck Simulator is on um, PC. Now, before the sale... They had this recently had a bit, about a week sale... Oh, fuck you, lady. Um, and before the sale, it was listed as $32.50, okay? Before the sale. This isn't that bad a price. $32.50 Australian. And, but I then noticed that they had a sale, and I was saying, oh, it's 
forty-seven percent off. Oh, so that well, that should make it under twenty. That's good. But what they've done is changed the price. So instead of being forty-seven percent off the thirty-two dollars, which is its normal price, they've taken forty-seven percent off forty-seven dollars. So instead of being thirty-two dollars, and it should be much lower than that with with their so-called forty-seven percent discounts, it's only twenty-six dollars after the discount because they've taken the discount off forty-seven dollars. So, so it's saying, and then, and then, and then the stupid thing was, then there's another option which you could buy it as a package with another game, which is some shitty, stupid fucking game that's worth like one dollar. But you then can get the game for twenty four dollars. Okay, but the reason why I've reported them because now the sale's over, it's gone back to thirty two dollars fifty. And that's, honestly, that's four. As far as I'm concerned, that's four. That's um, false pretenses. It's making you think you're getting 47% off, and you're not, because the game normally sells for $32.50. So I have to question them on that. So I reported that to Steam. Steam had just got back to me about half an hour ago, saying that, actually, yes, you are right, and we are going to contact the developer. So, no, I didn't buy it. I decided you know, I could have got it for twenty four dollars on PC. Just check it out on PC before considering it on console. But yeah, I don't like those kind of practices. It's it's false, false advertising in a lot of ways. You know, it's 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 basically a scam. They're scamming. So yeah, it's that's just what I think on that. How are you, Phil, anyway, mate? I haven't seen much of you lately. You might, might see a little bit less of me, because... The hard up thing I'm finding about streaming at the moment is that just the racing's Thanks are just not the fun. The racing's not fun and stuff like that, okay? Just going to pause this for a second. The racing's just a bit next week's could be interesting sparse looking like it's going to be a wet race G, gt3 the races this week could be fun the po biggest problem that i'm having is my girlfriend because we chat all day long we chat from the morning then we get up we're chatting nearly hourly all day chatting all night i'm actually chatting to you her right now And chatting to you. And so I just... The racing's been a bit sterile lately, so you might have seen a post I did. I'm just, I'm just having a little bit of a break. Do the manufacture race tomorrow. I'll probably stream that on here, because I've had two seconds of first, so I need... And it's Nürburgring, so with variable weather. Oh, have you done that concert yet? Will? Have you? Have you done that concert yet? I might do one more task. Pick up this person. Maybe I might pick up this one. I'm going to pick up this one. It looks really cool going in there. So at the moment, I think I just want to pursue more of how things are going with this new girlfriend. And then I will review when I can get a bit more time into it. But she's supportive of my doing my racing. She doesn't care about my racing sim setup or anything like that. She reacts actually quite cool. Her daughter's a bit of a gamer. She's 20. I said, oh, she'll like all your setup. Yeah, she can get me off it. <laughs> I 
Oh, that's going to be awful for you, Phil. I feel for you, mate. Looks like we're going around a university canvas or something. This is supposed to be Barcelona. Don't know how accurate it is. It's only part of Barcelona, mind you. That's another taxi, I think. I think they heard that they added more taxis. Um, think of the positives, Phil. 22 hours of drunk women. You might be able to pick one of them up, take her home, and you then make sure you pick her up at the end of your shift. You take her home, you help her, uh, you help her um, sober up. Yeah. Just choose the ones that aren't too drunk. Drunk enough to be stupid enough to go with you, but sober enough that they're not going to spew on you. Or in your bed hey. or anything, you know. Just you need to plan it properly, Philly. Oh, I, I was just saying I have not been over this part of the map. This is my first trip over to this part of the map. Sweet! I'm glad I chose this one. So I'll do this task, and then that will be it for tonight. I need to save my energy for tomorrow night, because I've got a feeling some interesting stuff might happen. So I need to get my energy up. She said I have to save my energy too, so that's a bit of a hint. Well, we did spend basically the whole of Sunday together in bed. We just... Came back to my place about five o'clock in the morning and we were in bed not doing anything. Well, we were good boys, the girls, but we just cuddled up and stayed in bed watching TV all day. Ventured outside to go and get some dinner, fish and chips at about six o'clock. Then we just went back to bed until um, I took her home about midnight. Even now, she's, she's on her way home and we're chatting. We'll probably be chatting till about 2 o'clock, 2, 3 o'clock in the morning. You, I've told you that I have my sleep apnea problem and I have problems sleeping at night. So, um, it's great. We chat and then I get tired enough and I go to sleep and I have a good night's sleep. She's really helped me. I'm off the medication. I've had to take myself off the medication because it was actually giving me chest pains and stuff. And I thought, no, this is too dangerous. But I've got a feeling she's the medicine I needed. I don't need these drugs. I just need to be with her and be happy again. <laughs> and this fish and chips place is kind of... It's pretty good, but in the area that I live in, the uh, kind of suburbish... Not suburb, but the area is known as the Redlands. And this fish and chip shop calls himself the best fish and chips in the Redlands. So that's a very tall order. And they are pretty good, I have to admit. Looks like we turn right up here. Oh, the lights go green just before we go. Red, should I say. Braking's a bit... Bleh. 
I wouldn't want to be the passenger in this car. It's always freaking braking hard. Well, what? <laughs> what the? Wow! Typical bloody Spanish drivers, eh? Jesus Christ, guys. What the hell are you guys doing? That's basically a red light runner there. It was, she's just lucky that I think the light went green just as it was going to go through the red light. You know, that was impressive. Drive like some of the bloody Spanish drivers in GT7. They're green, yeah, it is. It does have an in-car view as well. But it's harder to see pedestrians and people, so I just like the, this view more. I'm a bit boring at the moment. I'm just testing it. I haven't seen many stutters, so it does look like they've actually really made a big difference with this game. No one coming across it good, so I'm having the shadow of my girlfriend. God, this is so hard now. I'm not a girl, I'm not supposed to be able to do multiple things at once. What the hell is that car doing in the middle? Okay. A bit random. Still haven't seen these art. I hear the sirens, still haven't seen anyone. Okay, the lights ahead are not working properly. Thank you for letting me know. Might go back to that garage after I've dropped off this. I'm going to finish in the garage, fill up the car, clean it. Should always clean the car after a shift. You see these scooters everywhere, but you don't actually see anyone riding them. I'm glad that guy didn't walk out. The ones I hate, they kind of stop, and then they go back the other way. Are we going to get one here? No. I had one before, and I hit the bloody thing, and I hit the person, and I killed someone. And you get a pretty big fine. Get someone. Look at that guy, this went across, and then went back the other way. The AI of the pedestrians really need fixing. Okay, so we've got a orange flashing light so we can go carefully. There we go.
Take care. Take care. Gosh, she sounded a bit. Ugh. She wasn't very talkative either. Okay, let's find that garage and go and park there. Okay. Should these people be crossing? I'm gonna go through. And some of them doing bloody moonwalks, and you just don't know if you can drive past them or. I think I cut that guy off, but I don't care. I don't care. Keep going well, yeah, look at that. Oh yeah, Phil, today, okay, I'm driving up to a roundabout, and there's, there's, there's kind of shops on the corner. So there's some people coming off the, um, out of the shops onto the road. And the problem is, with the roundabout, I need to go left, and the cars were only just keep, oh, everyone was just holding up the right-hand lane. And, um, so the car in front of me, this one car came in, the car in front of me let the other, this four drive out, yep, no problems. There was another four drive come straight after that guy. And as soon as the car in front of me went past, now I didn't want to, I didn't want to let this guy in. There was no one behind me. There was no fucking need for this prick, what he did. Um... He just drove out, literally nearly took the front of my car off. And I've given him the fucking horn, and he's just stopped, ran out his window, stuck his head out the window, looking at me, mouthing some stupid shit. Now, you are not entitled to drive out. I do not have to let him. Why isn't it? I like fixing everything. There we go. Why? Why about that repair? I don't know. Everything's clean. That's good. So he just drove fucking out, and nearly took the front of my car. He wasn't going to fucking stop. He was like, "You have to give way to me. I'm on the main road. He's entering from a shopping centre. You do not have to give way to these pricks. He's basically a driveway, and he's expected me to stop for him." So he just drove it, and I just, I've got a feeling it's just because I'm in a BMW, and the BMW is a bad name, but he was in a big, massive fucking Toyota Prado Land Cruiser bullshit. And the thing is, I've got it on camera, so I just, I, I think what, when he did this, I just kept my hand on the horn. I just, I, I wasn't going to put up with that shit. So I just kept my hand on the horn the whole time he was there, and I think he then moved forward, Eventually, and I drove past on the left-hand side of him, and his wife is hitting him. I don't think his wife was too pleased with his actions. It was just fucking stupid. I mean, he literally, literally just drove out if, if I, was, I was supposed to have to give way to him. It's a courtesy thing to do, but I don't have to give way. And there's no one behind me. 
I want, and there's only just enough room up ahead for me to get into the left hand lane to turn left. So if I let him in, I would have to fucking wait because he wasn't going to turn left. They don't come out where he was. So because I made the call, no one behind me. I just kept behind the car in front, and there wasn't even a a gap. He just fucking just pushed his way. I've got it on dash cam, so I'll make one of those drive safe videos <laughs> about him. Anyway, I'll catch you later. I'm going to go and head to bed. So I'll catch you in the next one.